Okay, Rob, let's take it away now with a, a forecast for the for the holiday weekend. Is it going to cooperate? Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty good. Uh, we certainly had our extreme heat. Uh, we're starting to back away from that a little bit, but it is slowly starting to get warmer through this weekend. But with that said, we're in a range which is more or less normal for this time of year. So if you look up July 4th in the books, what is it usually like? It's usually like this, and that's exactly what's going to happen this upcoming Sunday. So let me give you the daily forecast, and then we'll talk about about sunset time. During the day, if you get the wind, upper 80s. That's not bad for the 4th of July. And if you don't get it, somewhere in the mid 90s or so. Foothills, it's about the same. Once you get to the Sierra, you could be in the 70s or you could be in the 80s. Just as a reminder, 80s at elevation is much different. 80s is hot in places like Tahoe uh, with direct sunshine and just a thinner atmosphere. And then once you get to the Bay Area, more comfortable. But then you're looking at clouds and fog, which may obscure if there is any fireworks uh, displays going on. Many of them have been canceled. Around sunset time, these numbers back off and comfortably you'll be in the low 80s in the valley right about the time that they have the fireworks, if they are happening. Okay, so one thing that we saw in the mountains yesterday was a huge number of thunderstorms, lightning, even some areas of some heavy rain, and then gusty winds. And gusty winds can travel far away from where the thunderstorms are. And that's important to know if you have one of those pop-up tents for sun protection. Uh, just know gusty winds could be part of your afternoon. That's something to pay attention to. The area of uh, extreme heat is much smaller now, but still ongoing for portions of Washington, as well as for Oregon. And then we did see, uh, you know, fire growth yesterday. And one of the things that you should know is that perhaps the fires aren't growing as rapidly, but that smoke and haze uh, north of Redding is just going to linger around for a while because we have the fire north of Lake Shasta with the one near Weed and the one near uh, on the road to Bend. This is 97, but everyone knows it as the road to Bend. It goes through Klamath Falls and onward. And in that area, the smoke and the haze is just going to linger. It's like a big bowl up there, and it will be an ongoing issue for, I would say, at least a week or so, probably longer. Then for us, we get back to our local forecast. What's going on with the mountains. That thunderstorm area is going to be central northern Sierra for the next couple of days. Even on the 4th of July, there's a slight risk of afternoon thunderstorms. So just remember when you're packing your car, if that's your destination, sun protection, all the things you want to do to have fun in the water, and also a random umbrella just in case because you could get some rain in that spot. I don't want you to be caught off guard. Temperatures this morning are in the 50s. We've got the 70s for the foothills and the 40s and 50s up high. That's how you're starting your day. There will be a slight breeze into the afternoon, but I'm not seeing extreme wind, which is good. That means no red flag warnings for the holiday weekend. But with that said, a number of local burn bans are in effect just because of the base conditions are so dry and they don't want anything accidental to get out of control. What we're looking at here going forward is, again, that microclimate forecast. If you get the wind, low 90s. If you don't get the wind, you're looking at mid 90s. Certainly warm for either location, but far away from triple digits. Those are showing up next weekend. This is the timing. Again, it's going to be along the spine of the Sierra, and then they drift off to the north between 2 and 6 p.m. Just to get mentally prepared, next weekend is looking like this. Another major heat wave is on the way. And look what the numbers look like as we see highs get well over 100 starting Friday of next week.